how to animate text in Premiere Pro 2023. So first thing you want to do is create your text. So click on text tool and drag your text field. Now type the text. I will just type text for sake of this video. Go over to uh, text, this drop down, click on that. And now you can just change the font so you can select it change font to something so for example i want it to be bold i want to center it and make it bigger and now if you want to animate it you just press down here make sure it's selected and let's say i will make it longer so for example like here for 10 10 seconds so i can make these animations and now what you want to do is go over to your effects panel and then type transform and choose this transform effect drag and drop it on your text and now as you can see this will appear in your effects controls this transform effect so this is what we want to keyframe now for example you can keyframe position so this is the length of this clip as you can see and now for example let's click on beginning and this stopwatch so this is where the animation will start and then this is where the animation will end and when i make changes to this x and y so this is x axis so this text will move from left to right when i drag it as you can see and this is y axis so the text will move up and down when i drag it as you can see so let's say i want this text to go to this corner so i will adjust this uh, coordinates accordingly and as you can see now between these two keyframes this animation is happening so i can play it back for you yeah it's really slow you can do it faster just by adding keyframes closer to each other as you can see now if you want this animation to be smoother you can always go ahead and just select it select both keyframes right click and then down here in the temporal interpolation click on ease in or ease out so i'll click on ease in and as you can see it's way smoother now what you can do next is also do this on every effect so let's say on scale so after this i want to scale it so as you can see i can click the stopwatch so here is 100 at this time and i will do 150 at this time so as you can see after it goes to the corner it scales to do 150 now as before i can apply for example let's say bezier for this time and it's way smoother than before now what you can do is just select these keyframes move them at the beginning and now both of these animations are happening at the same time it is scaling and going to the corner as well now when you want is this text to go back to its starting position you just simply press on this arrow or on this and on this arrow as well since position and scale was the thing we changed and as you can see now after animation is done it is going back yeah so it's really easy as that now why do we use transform because you can do all of this in this vector motion with this position and this scale you can do keyframes as well here but we did it in this transform effect and it has a reason simply because you have this option here which is called shutter angle now when i increase shutter angle so let's say i will increase it to 180 watch what will happen to the text when it's transitioning it's pretty slow animation so you can't see it properly 
but when I freeze it so for example here and I will bring it closer so you can see it is blurred as you can see so when I turn this off this shutter angle you can see it's not blurry but when I increase this shutter it's more blurry more I increase it more blurry it becomes so as you can see when I speed the keyframes so I will bring them next to each other so closer each other you can really see now how it's affecting the text I will bring them closer and as you can see the motion blur when I pause it is really significant and this is how they do it this is just you can do this text look really filmic and cinematic just by adding motion blur to it we add this shutter angle and you can do this only in this transform effect so remember every time you do something uh, some keyframes with position scale or something or rotation overall then use transform effect for everything you do whether it's a clip text or graphic you can always use shutter angle and make it look awesome as like this so thank you for watching if this was helpful to you consider subscribing and like this video and see you next time bye